Hey people, welcome to The Run Test, it's Kieran here and in this video we're going to be talking about heart rate monitors. That means chest straps and arm straps. Now while most watches have an optical heart rate monitor built in, if you want to improve the accuracy of your running, your training and your recovery stats, it really pays to invest in a separate heart rate monitor. Prices can range anywhere from £40 up to £140 and that takes into account kind of things for like the basic heart rate monitors right up to things that track your running dynamics and other form metrics. Now here at the Run Testers, we've tested pretty much all of the latest chest straps and arm strap monitors. We've tested them for connectivity, for accuracy, and for comfort. And we've also looked at those extra smarts that come with some of the devices. And in this video, we're here to help you find the one that's actually right for you. So from Garmin, Polar, Wahoo, right through to MyZone and Skosh, here's our guide to the best heart rate monitors you can buy right now, including our best do it all all rounder, our best arm strap, and our best budget option. So watch on and you're gonna find out which chest strap or heart rate monitor you should buy right now. Enjoy. The HRM Pro is Garmin's top of the range chest strap and it's right up there when it comes to comfort, connectivity and running smarts. It's also among the most expensive too. But if money is no object, this is the run tester's top pick for all round do it all tracking. It supports unlimited AMP Plus connections and two simultaneous Bluetooth connections, and only the Wahoo Ticker and the Ticker X offer more connectivity. The HRM Pro is heart rate variability compatible, and it broadcasts heart rate variability via Bluetooth too. When it comes to comfort, all the run testers found the fit of the 59 gram Pro as good as any other chest strap, thanks to a compact sensor that sits within a really soft strap. In our tests, the accuracy was reliable and a match for the top straps from other brands. Beyond connectivity, comfort and accuracy, two things make the HRM Pro really stand out. Firstly, you get running form metric readouts. They're to help you work on your technique, including vertical oscillation, ground contact time, stride length and vertical ratio. But these are broadcast only over Ant Plus, and so you won't be able to beam those to Coros or Polar watches. Second, it's Garmin's only chest strap that connects directly with the Garmin Connect app. And that means you can use it as a standalone. You can store workout data and sync that data directly later on with the app. On battery life, you'll get around 364 hours of training time on the replaceable coin op battery. That's less than some straps, but still probably a good six months to a year of training. However, all the run testers agree that changing batteries when it's time is a complete faff because you have to unscrew the sensor unit. Uh, the HRM Pro is also water resistant to 50 meters. When it comes to accuracy and reliability, the H10 is Polar's gold standard chest strap. And for that reason, it's one of the favorites among the run testers for benchmarking heart rate accuracy in our watch tests. The H10 weighs 50 grams, so it's one of the lighter straps. The pod is as small and slim as you'll find. Plus it has a nice soft strap with a decent amount of flex that sits comfortably against the skin and moves with your body. The quick release clip makes it easy to put on and take off. Plus it has some studs around the back section that really help it stay in place. You get 400 hours of training on a single coin op battery. You can connect simultaneously to Bluetooth and AMP Plus devices, and it supports two simultaneous Bluetooth connections. We had no issues with connectivity, pairing it with various watches from all brands, including Polar, Garmin, Coros, as well as iPhone apps. You can also link it directly to the Polar Beat training app. There's only onboard storage for one workout, so it won't work as a standalone device. And like the cheaper Polar H9, it's waterproof to 30 meters, so accuracy in the water is not guaranteed. If you want accuracy and comfort and don't care about the bells and whistles like running dynamics, the H10 is a really solid option. The fewer frills alternative to the H10, the H9 is all about doing the basics at a friendlier price. For accuracy, we found it as reliable as straps like the HRM Run, the Polo H10 and the H7. It weighs 50 grams, you get 400 hours of runtime on a single coin op battery and it's waterproof to 30 meters, exactly the same as the H10. It also uses the same pro strap as the H10, though it fastens with a hook clip rather than a clasp. Connectivity is more limited than the H10. While you can have simultaneous AMP Plus and Bluetooth connections, you can't have simultaneous Bluetooth connections. When it comes to reliability on that connectivity, we had absolutely no issues. And in our tests with many different watches from Garmin, Polar, and Sunto, and connecting direct to the Polar Beat app, it performed perfectly fine. So if all you want is the basis of accurate heart rate with a slightly reduced overall connectivity package, and no running metrics, then this is a good option to consider. The Ticker X is Wahoo's top monitor, and at 48 grams, it's also the lightest chest strap you can buy, but we're really talking grams here, and it's not that noticeable on the run. It has a soft strap with a front clip that's a little easier to put on than Garmin and Polar's straps. However, the plastic of the integrated pod sits right against your skin, 
and that's marginally less comfortable than the HRM Pro and the H10. You can have simultaneous Bluetooth and AMP Plus connections, including three Bluetooth connections. So you can pair multiple devices, watches, phone, gym equipment, etc. And there are LED lights on the pod to show connectivity has happened well. Like the newer HRM Pro, the Ticker X also has a built-in motion sensor that provides extra running form tracking. And that includes cadence, ground contact time, and vertical oscillation. Those running dynamics can be broadcast to compatible smartwatches via AMP Plus, but notably you can't share those running form metrics with Polar. The motion sensor also powers indoor mode for tracking treadmill runs. If you use the Wahoo Fitness app, you also get a running smoothness score, a sort of reading of your form efficiency. When it comes to the accuracy of the Ticker X, it performed well in our tests and reliably picked up small bursts of increased effort and we didn't get any rogue spikes. The Ticker X also stores up to 50 hours of workout data and you get 500 hours runtime on a single Cornock battery. It's only IPX7 rated, so that's sweat proof and rain proof, and the strap can be hand washed. Moving on to Wahoo's cheapest heart rate option, the Ticker carries many of the same specs as the Ticker X. You get the same design with LED lights to show connectivity. It weighs the same at 48 grams. You get the same 500 hour battery life, the same IPX7 water resistance rating, so basically it's sweat proof, the same connectivity, and the same fastening where the sensor acts as the clip. But what you don't get is any of the running form metrics or the built-in workout storage. The ticker connected easily to Garmin, Polar and Chorus watches and we also found it as accurate as the Polar H9 and H10. In terms of comfort on the run, having the attachment as the sensor itself rather than the buckle means it can pop open if you wear it too tight. Having the attachment being the sensor makes it easy to put on and take off, though as with the Ticker X, having plastic on skin makes it marginally less comfortable than some other straps. Garmin's run-specific chest strap, the HRM Run, is all about adding extra running metrics on top of your heart rate tracking. Like the Wahoo Ticker X and now the new HRM Pro, the sensor tracks cadence, vertical oscillation and ground contact time. But you also get ground contact time balance, stride length and vertical ratio. And with some compatible Garmin watches, you can also get running power. That includes the Phoenix 5, the Phoenix 6, the 4 and a 645, 935 and 945. These stats can be broadcast to other Ant Plus devices. And it's definitely a good way to beef up the insights already provided by your Garmin running watch. The HRM Run is the second heaviest strap on this list at 59 grams and there's no built-in storage for workouts so you can't train with it without pairing to another device. You get 365 hours of runtime on a single Cornock battery and that's a match for the HRM Pro but less than the Ticker X or the Polar H10. It's also waterproof to 50 meters. If you prioritize a longer battery life over running form tracking, the HRM Dual packs three times more runtime than the HRM Run on a single battery with more than a thousand hours training time. It's also lighter at 54.4 grams, allows for unlimited AMP Plus connections and two simultaneous Bluetooth connections. There's no internal memory for storing workouts, so no using it on its own and syncing later. And you don't get any of the lovely running form metrics that you find on the Run or the HRM Pro either. It's water resistant to 10 meters and the strap is washable. The MyZone MZ3 is a bit different from the other trackers on our list. Yes, it's a chest strap, but the USP is that it plugs into MyZone's training platform and that lets you earn points based on the intensity of your workout and compete with other MyZoners. Design-wise, it's not our favorite. At 60 grams, it's the heaviest, the pod is noticeably larger and protrudes over the strap. The strap edges around the sensor area are stiffer than other straps too, and on some longer runs, we found it had a tendency to chafe and even cut. It's got a hook clip rather than a clasp, and the strap is also washable. You get 112 hours of runtime on the battery, but it's the only chest strap we found where the battery is rechargeable, and that's a big bonus. You can have simultaneous AMP Plus and Bluetooth connections, and you can train independently and store up to 16 hours of workouts on the pod. It's also water resistant to 10 meters. But when it comes to the MZ3, all the run testers agree that unless you buy into the competitive element that comes with the app, it's probably overpriced. Kicking off the arm straps with Polar's newest heart rate monitor, the Polar Verity Sense is an upgrade to the OH1 Plus and features some important improvements that makes it the run tester's top pick of the arm straps. A wider strap and sensor casing keeps everything in place better. It's also now much easier to see what you're doing when switching between modes and starting workouts thanks to some lights on the unit itself, though it's still a bit fiddly to interact with when worn underneath a long sleeve. In our tests, we found the accuracy of the six LED sensor about as reliable as optical heart rate trackers get. Though like a lot of opticals, it lags very slightly behind chest straps on intervals. The rechargeable sensor packs a 30 hour battery life though the charging cradle is still small and really easy to lose. You get 600 hours of workout storage and it supports AMP Plus and two simultaneous Bluetooth connections. That's one less than the OH1 Plus. It broadcasts direct to heart rate apps, watches, gym equipment, etc. with 150 meter broadcast range and we had no trouble using it with Garmin, Polar and Chorus watches. It's also water resistant up to 50 meters and the strap is machine washable. 
Another newcomer for 2021 and probably the most original innovation in heart rate monitoring for a good few years, the MyZone Switch is the world's first ECG style chest strap and optical arm strap in one. The Switch's unique versatility makes it perfect for fitness pursuits that might range from hit sessions in the hotel gym to open water swims. As with the MZ3, MyZone's partner app gamifies your workouts by quantifying your heart rate capacity and converting your intensity into points to propel you up or down a range of leaderboards and competitions with friends, family and total strangers. The soft chest strap uses a hook fastener and is now infinitely more comfortable than the MZ3. The arm strap adjusts and tightens using Velcro. It's a little narrower than the Polar Verity Sense Wahoo and Scotia arm straps, but sits happily on a forearm or bicep without rolling or cutting. Moving the sensor between chest and arm strap is simple, with metal poppers like you'll find on a jacket. You get a built-in memory of up to 36 hours and the sensor has lighting indicators to tell you what zone you're in, though that's only really useful if it's on your forearm. Battery life is 140 hours using the chest strap, down to 35 hours using the optical arm strap. It's also rechargeable, which is a big plus. In terms of accuracy, we found the optical sensor reasonably reliable for running, but still not as accurate as a chest strap. Connectivity wise, it supports two simultaneous Bluetooth connections and one Ant Plus connection. And on our tests at work, we watches from Garmin, Polar and Coros. It's also 100% waterproof. If you want absolute flexibility, this is the one to get. Now, as with the MZ3, we feel that this one is still a little overpriced. The smallest of the arm straps, the OH1 Plus, is just 17 grams. Its lozenge shape and slightly thinner strap means it sits a little bit less comfortably on the arm as well. It's simple to pair and operates with a single button control, though it's not always easy to see when you're paired and recording. You also don't get any heart rate zone indicator lights like you will on the Skosh. You can do phone and watch free run recording with up to two hours of run storage. And it pairs with most watches, Garmin, Coros, Polar, and you can have simultaneous Bluetooth and AMP Plus pairings. Connectivity was really reliable in our tests too. In our accuracy tests, up against the H10 and Wahoo Ticker X chest straps, the OH1 did well, clocking the max and averages within a beat, but had the odd small spike or bit of lag, a bit like the Verity Sense. Battery wise, you get 12 hours of runtime on a single charge, and like the Verity Sense, it comes with a little dock that lets you charge it in any USB port, but that's incredibly easy to misplace. It's also water resistant to 30 meters and can track heart rate from the temple just in case you're a runner who also swims. The chunkiest of the arm straps, the Rhythm 24 weighs in at 30 grams, but actually its wider strap makes it more comfortable to wear with less cutting in. It packs an impressive 24 hours of runtime with 13 hours of built-in workout storage so you can run phone free and sync to the partner app later. That app doesn't do much more than let you customize your heart rate zones and this is really designed to be used with third-party services. The Rhythm 24 is support for simultaneous Bluetooth and AMP Plus connections. It pairs easily with most watches, apps and devices and the connectivity in our tests was great. What makes the Skosh really stand out are the coloured lights on the front that show you which heart rate zone you're training in. They also show when that memory is getting full of your running efforts. In terms of accuracy, in our tests the Skosh matched a Polar H10 chest strap to a really good level but had a tendency to read a top HR spike a little higher so max heart rates were always a little bit higher. Beyond that, you get 24 hours of runtime on a single charge and it's IP68 rated, so you can swim with it. Probably a run tester favorite when it comes to comfort, the 20 gram ticker fit is like a smaller skosh, but the strap is still wider than the OH1, and so it sits a little nicer on the arm. It packs the biggest battery life too with 30 hours on a single charge. It has support for simultaneous Bluetooth and AMP Plus connections. It pairs easily with most watches and apps and devices, including Wahoo's own basic workout app. It has a pairing indicator light on the front and we had no issues with connectivity. For accuracy, against the H10 chest strap, the ticker fit was relatively solid, just a little high on the maximum heart rate and a little more jumpy mid-run. It wasn't quite as precise as the OH1+, Plus, but marginally better than the Skosh Rhythm 24. For water resistance and durability, it's IPX7 rated, so we're talking sweat and a bit of rain, but no swimming here. Last but not least, we have the newest Skosh on the block, the Rhythm Plus 2.0. Now we haven't managed to get this one across from the US to test yet, but we wanted to fill you in on the details so you've got the complete picture. The Rhythm 2.0's rechargeable sensor packs a 24 hour battery life and fires data to AMP Plus and Bluetooth devices with a 30 meter broadcast range. The design from what we've seen looks a close match to the Rhythm 24 with a nice wide strap and colored lights on the front that show you which heart rate zone you're training in. It's IP68 water and dust proof rated, but it's only submersible up to one meter, so no swimming really. It also comes in five rather snazzy colors. So there you have it, that's our so there you have it, that's our whistle stop guide to all of the heart rate monitors you can buy right now. We hope it's been useful. As ever, if we haven't answered something, feel free to hit us up in the questions below. We've tested all of these, so we hopefully will be able to answer those questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos from the run testers. Uh, we've enjoyed giving this one to you. We've enjoyed 
Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos from the Run Testers. We hope you've enjoyed it and we hope to see you again soon on the channel. Thanks for watching. Over and out.